And uh, other than that, I mean, we have our little shuttle drive here, which is the edit vault. It's basically, um, we package it in a foam insert carry case. It's got auto switching power supply, so it can travel, you know, to Europe and just use the different three prong plug to plug into the wall, but you don't have to change out the power supply or anything. But as you can see, um, it's got a foam insert so that the drive can fit in there. All the cables come in this as well. And then um, we basically, it's a, just a quad interface, Firewire eSATA drive. It's just a little bit more robust. Um, it has internal power, ultra quiet fan, and then it, uh, with the internal power, it doesn't have a wall wart with it. Um, it's kind of big. It's not the prettiest drive out there, but it definitely has uh, optimized cooling, and then it's just a little bit more ruggedized. Um, the U.S. Army uses them as well, which is one of our proud clients that we wish that we can plug some of the shots that we've seen, but unfortunately we can't. But I mean, there. It's how it's, much cool. does it store? Um, it goes up to two terabytes. It's oh. a single drive device. Oh, okay. So and this is just one of our That's little. Pardon? That's non redundant, though, right? Yes, this is just like to shuttle drives, shuttle information back forth. What's just your personal opinion of the Drobo, the Drobo S, and that whole line of drives? <coughs> personal opinion of the Drobo. Um, cost effective, but not reliable for overall workflows. Even with Beyond RAID? I'm not familiar with that. Um, um, dual, dual simultaneous drive redundancy. I got you. Well, I've just seen the Drobos that I've come in contact with. I just haven't seen this, the same performance as like SAS attached or even other SATA boxes. I haven't seen the same performance out of the Drobos. And it all comes down to the quality of parts, the quality of the backplane. Is it cable connected? Is it a true backplane? Um, we don't break open the Drobo, but that's why most of our clients shy away. I mean, in, in the end, it is still connecting your drives to your computer. You, you just, how optimized is it? Yeah, it could have double redundancy, but do you really want to go through replacing drives and that whole process? But I don't really like making direct comparisons to anything just because it puts me in a spot because we do resell Drobo, we resell GTAG, we're, we're resell whatever our customers want, we provide. Yeah. We, uh, we're very collaborative in that sense. Well, it me. is more of a consumer product though, I'll put it <coughs> in like that, especially the drives that are, are designed to go into that <laughs> Drobo. They're not enterprise level drives, they like to use more of the desktop level drives, more of what like goes into your computer. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily a professional drive. So most of the uh, SATA boxes that we use, we do use professional level drives, enterprise level drives, Hitachi mainly. Excellent. So that's basically the main difference right there. Yeah. It's more a consumer product, really. That's the general. We do have strategic partnership with Hitachi and we love supporting them. Same with AJA, you know, and, and a lot of other companies that we just like to get in, stay with because they produce quality products on a continued basis. The same box move very unfortunately, <coughs> unfortunately, we're already maxing out the one lane Express 34 slot. So if you put, if there was a way to put another red rocket card in there, you wouldn't be able to get anything out of it because of the, the one lane. We were hoping, it is a four lane box. We were kind of hoping, we were developing this before the i7 and i5 series MacBook Pros came out. We were kind of crossing our fingers that a four lane Express 34 slot would come out. Didn't get it, so we don't have any 3D version of the Mobile Rocket Raid. That's when you jump into this guy, and it's fully functional in a 3D version. You drop two red rocket cards in the Mac Pro tower, and you're able to rip, you know, left eye, right eye very easily. Price on that? Um, the Mobile Rocket Raid, it comes. Oh, the Edit Vault? Um, John or John can get you pricing, I apologize. I know we're doing okay. a discount for you guys, okay. um, being red users, and anybody online or wherever this video goes, any red owner or red user, we automatically put them into a discount call or category. I apologize, Mike. I've you know, been fighting off a cold and talking isn't the best thing to do all day long. But, um, but that's pretty much where we go from the mobile rocket, which is just simple playback in the field, that is you know guaranteed for the lifetime of like the red rocket being out there to give you playback in the field it also gives you right now full functionality to be able to transcode and everything like that all the way to the mobile rocket raid that adds that storage component to it to the dit cards that are all completely customizable when you get to this level it's you we literally sit down with you and see exactly what you want um if any guys have their independent studios here or are you all just independent um notice light iron it's not just oh, solely them yeah, we can easily tailor this to any studio, um, and we, you know, we do multiple different configurations. Mike has a couple with LTO drives in it, so we can 
um, just brand it with, with your logos and um, yeah, we, we all over. We can brand it any way you want. <coughs> Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, forgive me, it sounds elementary, but uh, I understand that the red rocket you can process in real time a clip so that you can say to the program for you to and then put it the final cut or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, is that, I'm correct to this point, right? Yes. Uh, so the processing of a one minute shot will take one minute, a one hour shot will take. Mm -hmm. uh, do you foresee the possibility of the processing happening faster in real time using your system or something? Right now, as, as far as I know, and that's another good question for Michael because he's easily able to forecast it, but um, it's, it's Red City X that, um, that uh, basically is doing it in real time, so I, I can't speak on that. Um, I'm not that much of a Red Rocket, Red Cine X expert, but it seems to make sense that yes, because you're not playing it back when you're doing that transcode, it actually goes in a queue and it loads it up, so I believe right now it already does it faster, but I'm, I'm not positive. Because when you queue it up in Red Cine X, you actually get, like it tells you what clip is being processed and then it gives you an ETA for when it's gonna be finished. <clears throat> I know it does real time, it probably does faster than real time. Any other questions? Excellent. Um, John Gilstrand will answer any pricing information. Um, feel free to take one of my cards if you have any other questions or comments. Uh, we'd appreciate it.